Welcome back to Freight Abba. Last time we had our first day together with Senpai, and now it's been a few days since Senpai and I started dating. It's been a noticeable rise in temperature, painfully making me aware that we're finally in the brunt of summer. Summer break's coming up soon, but at our school, there are mandatory attendance days during it, which is why it doesn't feel all that much like an actual break. Well, I get to see Senpai at school, so I'm not complaining. Well, here we are. We're here, Senpai. This marks the end of our fun walk home. Still keeps your grip on my hand tight. Yeah. I I never liked it when my when my girlfriend never had to go home. I never got to walk home with with either of my two in-person girlfriends. Simple as they may be, these little displays of affection do a number on my heart. Senpai, uh, would you like to go to the main square and do something after? Ara, Misaki? Moshikashite otomodachi o tsurete kita no? Uh... Eh? Uh, that startled me. An middle-aged woman calls out to her from behind. She just said Misaki. どうもこんにちは。ね。あなた、美咲の友達。お名前は何て？えっと。こんにちは。あ、これはアバはじめ。まあまあ。美咲が本当にお友達を連れてくるなんて。ほらほら、遊びに来たんでしょ？遠慮
TV that I had when I was 13. Uh, sideways air conditioner, whatever the hell this. Oh, it's an arrowhead up here. An arrow, rather. Huh. Nice and simple. Yeah. <laughs> well, like she said, this is the first time you've ever. You've ever brought someone home. Okay then. Okay, so I ended up in Senpai's room. So far, so good. Oh, you can really tell she's the daughter of a greengrocer. Uh, how exactly? The room is clean and tidy. If one of those nice tatami floors that make Japanese style houses so great. I just love to top the floors. I remember the place I used to live in as a kid. We had some. We just roll around on them so much it's not even funny. Yeah. We have wood flooring in our current apartment. Oh, that's a shame. It's pretty cold in winter, though. So I honestly kind of wish we still had tatami mats. Really, though, uh, the whole rich girl image ahead of Senpai has been completely and utterly destroyed by this point. <laughs> As if it wasn't already. It's absolutely crazy to think that when I saw her for the first time back in the spring, I just thought she lived in some big European-style mansion. Do you like to keep things clean, Senpai? I don't know a single girl that doesn't. Everything I can see is so nice and clean. Even all the nooks and crannies. Ah, complete opposite of me then. <laughs> uh huh. I figured as much. There's no computer, no flashy audio amplifier, or a single video game console. Oh. <laughs> From what I can see, the only entertainment in here is the books. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Oh, and uh, what about the t what about the TV? Huh. I wonder if there's anything interesting and unique in here. Okay, buddy, don't go snooping around. Yeah. Nah, nah, senpai. What? What in the world is that weird-looking thing over there? Spotted something quite spectacular in her room. I wonder what it could be. Boy, do I mean it. This here. Isn't this my handkerchief? Wait. Huh? Why do you have it stored in a glass case? Hey, it's important to her. <sighs> it on the overboard side, but you know what? I'll let, I'll let it slide. I tries to block my view in a panic. I can't believe it. There's something else in the room that quite competes with the handkerchief as far as he goes. So, so yeah, she got us there. I, I did. I'm not gonna ask you to give it back or anything. I'm just surprised. That's all. Uh, a bit late for that. Senpai takes the glass case of the handkerchief and puts it into her closet. And very swiftly so for her. So. so. Alright. Still trying to wrap my head around it, but I guess that handkerchief is a very, very precious treasure. I mean, yeah, it has to be if she has a fucking glass case. God. Caught a quick glimpse of it the inside of her closet. There is the futon she always sleeps on. My interest doesn't stop at her futon. I focus too on her pajamas and imagine how she looks in them. Actually, forget about the pajamas. Somewhere in this room are pairs of underwear. Huh. 
Where, where are they? It's her underwear! Buddy, you are sick. You are sick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, I am very frantic right now. This is something I need to get my hands on. No, you do not need to get your hands on her undergarments, you sick bastard. Uh, yeah, I don't care about the handkerchief anymore. Anyhow, this room might be where me and Senpai one day. Here come the typical horny adolescent boy fantasies. Of course. Well, I am in a girl's room right now. As if that matters in the grand scheme of things. Any guy would start feeling a little horny, okay? Nothing wrong with indulging in a little bit of fantasy. I mean, it's got a point. Ugh. Suh. I've been tense as all hell since I got here. My heart is beating like crazy, too. Because I don't have the composure to crack my usual jokes. Oh, that's not good. Come on now. Deep breaths. Not only would I be hurting her by acting like a beta loser. But, yeah, yeah you, you're used to that, though. Never get over the shame. So genuine and kind-hearted, trying to make me feel more at home. Yet here I am, freaking out like the goddamn end of the world. I hear the word together. Right after, we're gonna have fun. Monster is going dirty places, and I can't help it. Go to the side, senpai. I'll treat you right. So she's right. I really should just take a deep breath and calm down. Relax. Relax! Loosen your shoulders. Let the tension escape your body, dude. Ch really? Chillax. <coughs> Let's send by soothing aura. Calm your nerves! Oh. Okay. I'm good now, Senpai. Man, I'm so happy to have my wonderful girlfriend here with me. Alright, guess that's actually nothing special. Oh, come on, of course it is. Any, any time you're with your significant other is special. It's just some, sometimes are more than, are more special than others, I'd say. We are in her room and all. Ah, hi. Sibarashi. Arigatou gozaimasu. Ie, ie. Taisna mono wo goyoi dekinakute gomen nasai ne. Ie, this is plenty. That she has such a nice mom. Yeah, I see meet her father. <laughs> she has two cups of barley tea on a tray and places it on the coffee table in the room. In addition to the tea. It's also a small plate with rice crackers on it. Ooh. I haven't had rice crackers in years. I always thought they were good. Especially the... The, uh... Cinnamon ones. Hi, please. Thank you. Thank you so much. Look, Misaki. Thank you. でも今日は本当に驚いちゃったわ。まさかこのミサキがいきなり家にお友達を連れてくるなんて。When is he gonna correct her? I wonder. Uh, sorry for just barging over with no notice or anything. あ、ごめんなさい。そういう意味じゃないの。この子ったら今まで一度もうちにお友達を連れてきたことがなかったんです。だからもう心配で心配で。
Yeah. See, there's a good reason for that. Uh, her friends are a bunch of assholes. Just saying. Uh. <laughs> well, I guess that's only natural. Everyone at school is convinced that she's the daughter of a multi-millionaire or something. Yes, uh, you've said that a few times already, I think. Hey, Misaki. What are you doing? It's fun Also, she has, no, she has no idea that I'm younger than her. She's not gonna tell the truth, at least not right away. Oh, she's blushing! Kawaii! She looks around the room is conspicuously and stares at the cup with barley tea bashful. Yeah, maybe I should go ahead and say I'm her boyfriend now. Though I'm not quite sure how to how both Misaki and her mom will react. I know. Oh, well. Glad you asked. Like, what kind of person? Yeah, How senpai is usually like at school. Well, for starters, it's practically a celebrity around the school. Wow, yeah, through no fault of her own, by the way. I'm so sorry. Technically, I'm not lying. Oh, yeah. All the other students basically treat her like a queen because of that charisma of hers and her natural elegance. Walk down the third year's hallway and you'll hear a bit. Saki-san! Saki-san! So much she'll practically go crazy. Mi-Misaki! あなたはいつからそんなにすごい子になっちゃったの? Who the hell knows at this point other than being beautiful? Be-別に... And smart. Su-すごく... Nai... She's actually the one who first came up to me, uh... That's... Boy, oh boy, I was about to stiff as a board, I tell you. Misaki, Yeah. Oh yeah, I, for I forgot about the wallet. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Yeah, that was how it all began. Man, if you went back in time and told me that I'd be talking to her mom eventually, I'd have thought you were crazy. Just never know what'll happen sometimes. Life can be crazy. Definitely. <laughs> oh god, I'm a fucking dull. And there is her father. Here we go. あら、お父さん配達から帰ってきたみたい。うん。Her <laughs> her dad. As if her mother wasn't hard enough. Now I have to meet her father? Ah. Uh, help me, Bobby. I'm going to get killed. <laughs> <laughs> 別に緊張しなくても平気ですよ。her father is one of the most... <laughs> one of the funniest characters in this entire game. Okay, yeah, they can reassure me all they want. The fact of the matter is, I'm meeting my girlfriend's father for the very first time. You can't make me not... or make that not nerve-wracking. Here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. There we go. Yo! Could Konnichiwa. 
っと課長誰だよこいつこいつだなんて失礼でしょ三崎のお友達よちゃんと挨拶して He's not gonna say it now, I bet you. Hey! 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 I'm fucked. <laughs> oh, there's not really any way I can just say I'm her boyfriend in this situation. Yeah, Blab it. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I, I like how the phone got cut off here. Co uh, huh. And here I thought I was going to be the one to do it. I guess not. Uh, I'm so sorry. I wanted to tell you, but I just couldn't find the right time, and uh, you see. <laughs> Holy shit, are they surprised? Just like you'd expect after hearing something like that. Yeah, exactly. I mean, hell, they were ecstatic enough about the friend part already, and then they find out I'm actually your boyfriend? Shit, talk about left field. I, I'm i sorry about that. I didn't mean to hide it or anything. Uh-uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Huh? She, she's actually crying? Misaki, Masaka, Anata, Ronaldo, she knows the Kona book, Karashi, it's come on the Kurna. Uh, that's another thing. I am, yeah, I'm uh, actually one year younger than her. Toshista, no Karashi? Yeah, these two are these two are a riot. Oh <laughs> well, Misaki, you you did good. Did what you had to do there. She seems to be crying from joy. And if you uh try to rationalize the situation, I'm being welcomed. I think. I just don't understand any of this. Why are they acting like this? They're acting like this because her daughter, their daughter, is uh, not exactly on the chatty side. Keeps a lot of stuff to herself. Doesn't stick up for her. Well, okay, didn't stick up for herself until we got involved. So yeah, I, I can understand why they'd be acting like this. <laughs> Uh, so. <laughs> Domo. <laughs> okay, sir. Uh, let's not go that far now. <laughs> I don't want to watch my girlfriend's father commit suicide in front of me on the day I met him. Oh, 
she's right. Please value your, value your life son. This is ridiculous. Please raise your head. Yes, no. Well, you're gonna have to eventually, buddy. Well, you don't have to worry about that. Oh, no, 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 no. I should be thanking you for treating me so hospitably. I also end up kneeling down on the spur of the moment. And <laughs> Usually supposed to be something like the father who behaviorly opposes you dating his daughter and glares at you like you're some monster? Or in the case of uh, stereotypical Southern America, the daughter brings home the boyfriend and the father either asks, asks a bunch of questions, then accepts him eventually, or sees him, pulls out a shotgun, and chases him off the property. That's what I hear from uh, Southern America. Not, not so much up north where I am. But anyway. Don't have to worry about that. Yeah, you've also gotten an award, gotten an award for her on her behalf. <laughs> okay, that that last bit, I, that last thing I just said didn't make any sense. I think. Actually, I do prefer green tea. Uh, sweetened. Huh? Isn't that barley tea? Eh, boy, you don't really have to go out of your way to find me. <sighs> See what I mean? This guy's a riot. Oh, no, 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 not at all. I wasn't trying to find anything by that. Actually, those are pretty good. Or a shola, shola crab. Wow. Okay then. I actually don't know what a moya fuya is. Yeah, look. What I got is really more than enough. <laughs> Oh, he is shitting his pants right now. I inadvertently let out a dry laugh in response to the absolutely bizarre things that are coming out of his mouth. But, wow. So a toddy family sure is interesting. Huh. Yeah, I can say that again. Uh, to be frank, I seriously can't imagine that Senpai grew up in a family this eccentric. So, yeah, tell me about it, especially based on the way she acts at school. Yeah, man, you brought it up. Oh, boy. <laughs> And thus leave me and Senpai alone in the room and head down the stairs. Her dad certainly has a pretty, uh, bombastic personality. And I am at least glad that he's nice. It, yeah, I almost had a heart attack on more than one occasion. But yeah, I'm fine now. So...
Now that we're alone again, we're back to relaxing and unwinding. It's almost like all the hubbub from just a second ago was just a dream. I'm gonna give it another few minutes, it'll be back up and running again. If we don't get any more interruptions, I have a feeling I'll be able to take this mood a little further. Senpai, uh... Stand up, upon which Senpai looks at me questioningly. I go over and plop myself down right next to her, and slowly scoop closer to her without muttering a word. signs of non-consent. Think I'll be able to work in a kiss today, boys. <laughs> uh, senpai. Can I kiss you? Kiss. Yep. We do it a lot in movies and stuff. And I do mean a kiss on the lips, not on the cheek. Her father's gonna walk back in or something. She musters up all the courage and squeezes out that verbal consent with a bright red face. Wrap my arms around my cute, adorable girlfriend's shoulders and then bring my face towards. Misaki! God damn it. What'd I tell you? <laughs> okay, yeah, that's a good thumbnail. Senpai's dad bursts into the room and I quickly let go of her shoulders. Let's play Um, sorry, what was that? Let's play Trump! Um, didn't quite get that, but okay. I heard I thought I heard him say let's play let's play craps. But I don't know. Uh oh. Senpai's powering up. Oh, wow. She's fuming. The Sawatari Misaki is fuming. Of course, she's not actually saying anything, but you can feel the anger in that cold stare. Yeah. The Chikubi Cannon? The, the Chikuwa Cannon is, uh... To be fired. Also, uh, if you don't know what Chikubi means, uh, just look it up. Just saying. Uh, huh. Uh oh. Uh, Mr. Sawatari, I believe you should probably vacate the premises. <laughs> her dad fi finally yields after her continued silence. Well, actually, he's not the only one a little scared yet. <laughs> Literally feel the rage emanating out of her behind me. Anata!
We're about to have our own fun, old man. Leave us to it. Wh wow. This guy's like a child in a grown man's body. No shit. Wait. I'm pretty sure their store is still open. Can they really just, like, leave things unattended? I mean, don't they... Wouldn't a place like that have extra employees, and not just them? Well, <laughs> parents are certainly a lively bunch. Now that her parents are gone, it's time for kiss take number two. Senpai. They're gonna come back again, aren't they? <sighs> Senpai? That same aura of rage is back. Chigua Cannon is firing back up! Holy fucking shit. I don't know if I've ever seen her this mad. Uh, no. I'm sure you haven't. Oh, you are really cruising for an ass beating, my friend. <laughs> Man, that was fast. <laughs> Senpai slid the door shut so fast at the beginning to think this is some alter ego of hers. Her dad isn't about to let that stop him. Uh, it can wait. <laughs> oh my god, did she just say that? You can really tell how much she wants to be alone with me, and that makes me super happy. Indeed. I can't help but feel a bit sorry for her dad in this situation. Can she just tell him that, that, that she wants to be alone with me? This time it's not just a silent rage. He's using both hands to try and push him out. I'm not committing incest to your buddy. Get the hell out. Or, you know what I mean. His final scream was in vain. As he finally gets chased out of the room for good. Good. Holy shit. I can't believe she just forced him out like that. The quiet ones always have pent up rage. Or so I've, so I've heard. I feel like I've been, seen something truly special here. Are we good now? Ah. She suddenly took my hand. Looking at her face, I see a slight blush. <laughs> Just can't help but smirk at how adorable that was. Give her hand a slight squeeze and she responds with the same. Her face is right next to mine. So close, I can feel that she can feel or I feel like she could feel my breathing. Got a teensy weensy desire to tease her now. She's displaying her affection for me, so. Eto. Simimasen. I slowly move my face towards hers and plant a light kiss on her cheek. Just sits there with a beet red face, not saying anything. Just 
probably embarrassed beyond belief right now. I don't, I don't blame her. I know that not because of any verbal indication, but because of how she's tightly gripping my hand. That little action is just so cute. I don't even know what to do with myself. Senpai. Ah, oh, the ellipses are back. Who is it going to be this time? Oh, okay. This time, our lips finally touch. Our very first kiss. Her lips are soft and sensual. The distance separating us right now is practically zero. Say the first kiss tastes like lemon. Uh, who? says that exactly. But honestly, my heart is beating so fast that the taste is the last thing on my mind. My first kiss tastes like grape. Misaki! Arasa! Ah! Senpai's mom then calls for us right as we're in the middle of it. Although we both know we should stop, our lips remain stuck to one another. Fortunately, the sound of her footsteps stops once she reaches the door. Way ahead of you. I hear Senpai's mom's voice through the door. And not more than a few seconds after that, I hear her descending the stairs. As we breathe a sigh of relief in our minds, we continue the kiss. And afterwards, we hold each other close and stay like that for a while. Alrighty then. Got the first kiss. We met the parents. And what a lively, what a lively mom and dad they are. <laughs> Especially the father. Jesus, Jesus Christ. He was one of the other things of this game that I remember seeing from I think, it was, I think it was last year that I saw this game for the first time but anyway <sighs> I bet your next episode is going to be the first stage scene and before, before I uh, started recording I just remembered that I never downloaded the uh, H patch when I reinstalled the game on my new PC, so took care of that. <sighs> it's uh, it's fun. <laughs> but anyway, that's gonna do it for Freddy Uh so Until next time, don't be a dick to your significant other, especially if it's someone like Senpai. Senpai is best girl. And keep on rocking.